Welcome to another video by Dan Hayden and 12 Red Tech. This is how to change or upgrade your memory in your Dell Inspiron 15 laptop. In this particular case you can see the model by the Inspiron label and this one has the original uh, label for advertising right here. If you want to see the exact model you can flip the unit over and there is a label on the bottom and that shows Inspiron 1545 and of course the uh, service tag and the express service code which is unique to each Dell computer and you can look up for more detailed support and for parts. Uh, in this case we've made sure that the power is out and we're going, because it's a laptop, to take the battery out. And you do that by flipping this lever right here and then the battery slides off. So that lever right there and then the battery slides off. And that takes care of that. And then to make sure that the unit is depowered after you've taken the battery out, you can go ahead and press the power button a couple times. Make sure anything that's residing in there is out, power-wise. Flip the unit back over. Taking my Husky screwdriver from Lowe's, there's the model number of the screwdriver. It's an HD74501S. It's a nice combo unit with different size heads. Um, we're going to go ahead and take out the screws on the bottom plate here. In this case, we have one, two, three, four screws on this one. This is a rather easy memory swap because you only have to take the bottom plate off. So it, and the screws do not pop out. They stay attached to the bottom plate, which is convenient. So there's number two. This is number three. That's number four. Now keep in mind, even though I say the screws don't pop out, you should pay attention just in case they're loose and one of them flies out. You have to make sure you don't want to lose it. I'm taking a flathead screwdriver. There's a little indentation right here where it says C forward slash M. And I'm putting the screwdriver in there. And I'm getting the purchase and prying up just a little until I can get my finger in there. And then I pop up with my finger. And it slides up like that. Then you pull this out. And the cover is out. You lay the cover like that. Now we have the memory exposed. There's two wings, a metal wing here on the left and a metal wing on the right. You pull them to the sides and the memory pops up. And you grasp the memory and you pull forward or up and the memory pops out. And you can set your memory down. Do the same thing. There's another wing here and another wing there, a metal wing that's over the side of the memory holding it down. You pull it to the side. When you do, the memory pops up. You slide the memory out. You can set the memory down. And I take my new memory from Crucial who I tend to use mostly because I don't have to mess around and they're reliable. You place the memory in. You'll notice that there's a plastic indentation here. Um, the camera may not pick it up, but there is. And you'll see that it, it matches the indentation on the memory itself. And this is 200 pen memory for laptops. So you just match up the teeth in the plastic and you match up the teeth on the memory and you slide that in like that the teeth will basically disappear into the white plastic you press down on the top and you'll hear a click and then you can look and inspect and make sure that the wing is on the metal wing is on both sides over the memory holding it down and it is and you can give it a little wiggle to make sure it seats in the teeth Okay, and then we get our second stick of memory because we're upgrading from 2 gigabyte to 4 gigabyte, which will give it a significant performance increase. We go ahead and line up the teeth again. There's the little indentation. It's kind of hidden here, but I can see it if I lean over and look. You line up the teeth, you put it in, slide it in. It just goes in there like that, and you press down. This one doesn't snap as much, but you can see that the metal has flipped over. 
and then you can kind of just press down push forward on it a little bit to make sure it's seated and that takes care of that then we go ahead and take our cover and on this cover you'll notice it has these little pieces of plastic here and they slide into the actual frame of the computer so you have to slide those in first then press down like that and if you press on it it pops into place and holds it and then you can take your screwdriver I tend to go to the left a little till I hear it pop then I screw in that makes sure the threads are aligned now, that's the first one I go over here and I go to the left till it pops then I screw down clockwise turn left which is counterclockwise till it pops then I go clockwise then you go left or counterclockwise till you hear it pop then we go clockwise now once this is done this is not fully depressed into place you press on it and you'll hear it snap and you can look at it and actually see that now it is flush if there's anything popping up you can press on it and see if it will pop down it should be completely matching the same level as the frame of the computer there should nothing be nothing should be popped up and then you can go back over your screws just make sure they're down gently tightening them that you don't want to overdo it it's kind of hard to overdo it with this particular screwdriver which is convenient okay then we take our battery place our battery back in power supply we plug our power supply back into the computer. When you first power the computer up, it's going to notice that new memory has been installed or a new amount of memory, and it will ask you, do you want to accept it by pressing F1 or F2 to go into setup? computer boots up, just checking the new memory. In this particular case it didn't ask, maybe that's typical of Inspiron. On the business systems it does ask. So, that takes care of that. It's another episode from Dan Hayden with 12 Red Tech on how to change the memory or upgrade the memory in your Dell Inspiron 15.